Hi Stamping Friends, I'm Karina with KarinasCreations.com and I want to show you how to make this really cute slider card. Can you see it? I'm using the new Barnyard Baby set and we got a little pig and on here I stamped with love and then in the center it says Hogs and Kisses. So I'll show you quickly how to make this. First of all you want to start with a piece of Pool Party cardstock and it is cut at five and a half inches by eleven inches and then it is scored at three and a half inches and seven inches. What I did to make the holes is I took my one and three eighths of an inch circle punch and I put this in as far as you can go and I just centered it and then I punched a hole. Then I put it on to this layer. I know the holes are already punched. You'll have to pretend. And then I punched a second hole. So this piece is done, so I will set that aside. And then the next piece you need to cut is a piece of Pool Party cardstock that is six and one eighths of an inch long by five and a half inches. And this is scored at one and seven eighths of an inch. So it makes this little flap. And all you do is fold the flap over, put your punch in as far as it will go, and try to go over as close to the center fold line as you can, and then you punch a hole. The next thing I need to do is add some designer series paper and I'm doing the cherry on top designer series paper. I couldn't decide what pattern I wanted. This one's a little crazy but it is cute. So to punch my hole here, this is going to be the front of the card. I just lined it up like this. I'm not gluing it down yet and I'm flipping it over and then again I'm pulling out my one and three eighths of an inch circle punch and then punching a hole. Hopefully that will now line up. I'm going to glue my cardstock onto the front of my card base. I should say I'm gluing my designer series paper onto the front of my card. There we go, and let's we'll see if this lines up nicely. Hopefully it does. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can live with that. And then what I'm doing is I have already went and stamped the little piggy from the Barnyard Baby set, and I colored him in with Pool Party ink. And then I've stamped the greeting, which says Hogs and Kisses. So I will grab my 1 and 3 eighths of an inch circle punch and punch out the little piggy and punch out the hogs and kisses and I'll show you how that goes into the card. So I'm taking my card base and you can see how I fold it like this. So I'm going to glue my little piggy in the back. Oops, I made a mess of my fast fuse. I'll have to start it again. If you use fast fuse, there's a bit of a trick to it. You have to use a really light um, touch. You cannot push hard. When you glue your piggy and your greeting in it's really important to put adhesive around the edge so that your piece will slide. Okay, there's the piggy done. And now I want to take this piece. So this is going to go like this. You know what? Hold on a second. I will glue this together on my front. And I'm gluing, gluing my card front onto this first panel and I'm lining up the edge. Even though the score lines won't match up, that is just fine. It's more important to line up the card front with the inside piece. So you can see how it looks now. And then when I open up the card, this little flap that we had, that's where you're going to glue your greeting. So again, I'm using my fast fuse. Try to get it as close to the outside edge as you can. I'm now putting in my hogs and kisses. Try to get that straight. Just make sure it goes through that window for me. There we go. And now watch what happens to the slider card. You see the little piggy? Now you see the little greeting. So it's a really, really fun design. Once you get this together, 
you don't really need this flap anymore so I'm going to put a piece of adhesive. We have this new uh, tape that you can tear with your fingers. I was calling it terrible tape. It's not terrible tape. I think it's tape and tear. Can't remember the name. But anyway, you put your sticky strip there and you just close up your card. And then this goes in the center. And then it just keeps it closed. Nice and closed. Okay, now we need a little bit of a scallop circle to decorate the card. So the easiest way to do it is to grab your tip -to top taupe cardstock, give it a little punch with your 1 and 3 eighths of an inch circle punch, and then take your scallop circle punch around that, center it around your circle and give it a punch. And then I need a second one, so I will just repeat this. Doing it a second time. Then I will grab my mono multi glue, which I love this stuff. Everybody needs mono multi glue if you have it. Just put a little bit here. Put this on the card front. And I'll open that up. And then we also need one around the hugs and kisses, just to make it look pretty. Do that one quick. Then to decorate the inside of the card, I took some crushed curry cardstock and the new hearts, I forget what the heart folder is called, but I took some pennants punched with the banner punch and attached them onto the back. And again, I'm using the, um, I'm going to call it terrible tape just because that's what I've been calling it. So it's T-E-A-R, not the other kind of terrible. And then look how cute that looks. And then I've already pre-stamped this, so I've just used my on Cherry on Top Designer Series paper, and I put some brand new Tip Top Taupe ribbon around it, and put some hearts. And the greeting is again stamped with the You're So Sweet stamp set. We'll just glue this onto the card front. And that's basically it. Your card is done easy. Anyway, I hope you will try and make one of these really fun cards. Happy stamping!